I'm here, okay. Um, I'm going to start now. And for me, uh, the adventure, my adventure started when uh, I was in uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. It was uh, on August 2006, like uh, 15 years ago. I was at the uh, Delta Hotel at the time. It's at the store where I bought a book written by uh, William S. Uh, Kruger. It was titled Oak Island Gold. Okay, let me uh, bring your book up, uh, Gayan. Okay. Let me put your book up. Okay, now I just put your book cover on the uh, All right. on the site where it shows Nolan's Cross and the stars on the bottom of the picture. Go ahead, Gaetan. Okay. Uh, Nolan's Cross was the part of the book that got my attention. Friend Nolan, it's, it's, they say in the, in the book that Fred Nolan, as a surveyor by profession, on his property, he discovered large stones, 10 tons each, placed in the shape of a cross. And um, according to Fred Nolan, there was individuals who placed the stone at specific location. And they would have used measurements in feet and inches with military precision. Well, I got to tell you, this coming from a sur surveyor made me very, very curious. Precision measurements are part of my everyday life as a construction worker and an architectural technologist. And um, I found that the secret lies in the arrangement of the stones and the measurements between them. So here's it goes. This is how it got interesting. I, I got to use this technique called gematria. What's and a, this is where I was in. What's that? What is that uh, technique, uh, Gaetan? It's called gematria. And I will explain it as I go. Okay, go ahead. Okay. And this, this is the, the code. This is the key. Uh, that uh, unlocked uh, the, the Nolan's Cross. So I was able to decode Nolan, Nolan, Nolan's Cross. Every dimension on the cross has, has a biblical number. So by the mystical technique of gematria, it's numbers that can be expressed by letters of the alphabet. So to explain it a little better, I, I got something I got uh, out of uh, under other books. It goes like this. Since ancient time, men have sought to ensure by encryption the secret of their exchange. One of their encryptions, the secret of, uh, wait a sec, one of their methods was to rely on the use of encrypted alphabet. And the Hebrew and the Arabic alphabet are adapted to this practice. And so the Greek of the New Testament. So uh, here, where am I going? The, um, back to the table of gematria. This is something that uh, replaces a letter of a word by a number. So that table has three rows. The first row from one to nine, it goes A, B, C, D, and A is one, B is two, C is three, and it goes on like this. The second row are of tens. It goes from 10 to 90. Then the next row contains the hundreds. So you have 100, 200, but S, is 100, and T is 200. So now I'm going to apply this way of doing to Nolan's cross and its dimensions. So I don't know if you all remember, but uh, the arms of the cross, the measurements are 360 feet. So this, when I apply the word saint, to the length 360, an S is 100, an A is 1, an I is 9, N is 50, T is 200, 
and I add those up and I get 360. Now I'm just gonna do a few of these measurements on the cross to show you how it all came together. Okay. Okay, so uh, the next measure is 145 feet that's at the top of the uh, cross. And um, I've applied the name Mary to 145. And here goes, uh, what a sec, it goes Mary is M for 40, A is one, R is 90, I is a nine, and E is five. So again, when I add all of those together, I get 145. Hmm. And here's the next one that's, uh, I found another one that gives me 145. And it's Madeleine, Mary Magdalene. That's what we have. So I add Madeleine and I get 145. So Mary Madeleine is the only woman mentioned in the four gospels. She's present at the death of Christ and at his resurrection. Her position on the cross is not that strange. So she is the first witness to the resurrection of Christ. So now, where is Christ? This is, we got to find who he is or where he is, I should say. So I've decided to draw a square, which I call Mary Magdalene Square. And to find its diagonal, I first I add the 145 plus 145 for Mary and Magdalene, and I get 290. 290 squared, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. 290 squared plus 290 squared gives me 410.12. And wouldn't you believe it, 410 gives me Christ when I apply gematria. So needless to say, all of a sudden I have a cross that's uh, speaking to me. 